Hi, George here, and what we're going to do today is talk about flow meters. A flow meter is a device that you use to control the gas flow that goes to your patient via cannula, oxygen tubing, simple mask, maybe a mountain resuscitator or a small volume neb or something like that. So it's used to control the gas flow that the patient gets or the appliance gets. The one we're going to look at today is called the Thorpe Tube Back Pressure Compensated Flow Meter. We just simply refer to these things as flow meters. There's two other varieties that are out there too. They're called board and gauge style flow meters or flow restrictor style flow meters. Now when you're using a flow meter, the first thing you want to do is make sure that if you're using oxygen, for example, you take your oxygen flow meter and attach it securely and properly to your oxygen station outlet. Color coding hopes helps with this. So oxygen here is color coded white. So we line it up with the white station outlet and the appropriate safety system and connect it together. Medical air here is color coded black and white. And so if you want to use medical air for whatever reason or medical tubing, you connect it to your DISS connection. Uh, make sure what you're using is black and white and has the appropriate safety system on it as well. So I've got the flow meter attached to the station outlet and you can kind of see that this side of the flow meter, because it's a double flow meter, flow meter system, this side has the flow meter itself and this side I've already got a reducing connector attached to it. So this thing here is called a stem and wing nut or a reducing connector or some people refer to them as trees, especially if they're green colored. Anyways, it's got a DSS threaded connection right over here that you use to attach it to the flow meter. Line it up, turn it on, or thread it on there so it's nice and tight so there's no leaks. Now you can hook up tubing to this flow meter, like a nasal cannula or some oxygen tubing or, or something like that. Now you can kind of see this one doesn't have anything on there. And the reason I left that one bare is that I can show you some tubing that you can use to hook it directly onto the flow meter. Now if you happen to be using tubing like this, I'll show you really close. There's two ends to this tubing. It's the same tubing, but there's two ends to it. There's the appliance end, there's the flow meter end, and you can kind of see they're slightly different, right? They're meant to attach to each other if you want to lengthen the length of tubing that you're using. But this end here specifically is meant to go onto your flow meter. So if you're using this tubing, this style of tubing, and it's going to run to a small volume nebulizer or something like that, simply brace the flow meter and push this tubing onto the threaded end of the flow meter, and voila, it attaches nice and firmly. Now you can run this portion of the tubing to either your appliance or connect the same type of system, same type of suit tubing to here. And then you can use it, uh, use another length to get the flow to go to your, your device. Now to use the device, all you have to do now is just simply turn the flow meter on. So let's zoom in for this. There's your flow meter. Grab the knob, turn counterclockwise, and you'll see that ball comes up. Now all you have to do is adjust that ball to whatever value you want. So for example, if you wanted five liters per minute, simply keep adjusting this until that ball intersects that line at the five. It should be halfway above and halfway below the line at that numbered value that you want. If you wanted 10, well there is no 10 on this flow meter specifically, but there is a line representing where 10 would be. Adjust it up so now that the ball is sitting a little bit higher up there where the 10 would be, should have 10 liters a minute coming out this end right over here. When you no longer need to use your flow meter, simply shut it off and gas flow stops. And that's in essence how you use a flow meter, specifically oxygen flow meters. So let me know what you thought of this video. Hit like or dislike if you uh, liked it or didn't like it. Also subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please let me know. This is George out. Have yourself a great day.